Are you legally married to any of these women? I'm not legally married to no. no Do you one. plan to be legally married to any? If they allow me to marry all of them. So you would not marry one without marrying all? Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. That'd be wrong. That I feel like that'd be wrong. It, okay, so so we live in America. Um, America, as far as we have come, this is not something that, that sits well with many Americans. Um, you right. know, America has advanced to where gays um, can now get married in many states. How, how does that make you guys feel? And how do you vote for that matter? Or do you vote? No, nah, I think that it's not going to happen. I think they're not going to allow it. You know, um, that's why to me it's about real estate as well, because the way that I because really marriage is a business agreement. There's a business benefit to being married. So as far as I'm concerned, I find other business, um, other ways we can entangle ourselves in business and benefit each other and show that I trust. So like there's certain houses, both of our name is on and there's cars that I just put only in their name. And there's other ways to show that I'm, I'm uh, trusting you on a business level and retiring ourselves in. And then we have a trust fund as well. So we t we're tied in through a trust fund and different things, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, so I don't plan on doing marriage. I don't think it's that necessary. The, the tradition. And you don't believe America is any closer to to allowing uh, poly couples nah. like yourself marry? Nah, nah, because of how much we get judged. Like some people think that we get a lot of love, but I think we get more hate for what we're doing than love. You know, most people see it and turn their nose up. Most people see us and think the girls are brainwashed and I'm pimping. Most people think that it's a sex cult or um, I'm doing, I've been accused of trafficking. And stuff, you know, so I think, no, I don't think people are ready for that. I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to get approved no time soon. Yeah. I mean, uh, America definitely has uh, put a stigma around this. Um, you know, when you think about these lifestyles, it's often associated with cults, as you have mentioned. Um, you see guys mm -hmm. like, uh, I believe his name is Jeffrey Daniels, but um, he's Dahmer, not Jeffrey Dahmer, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Daniels. Dahmer. He, he had multiple wives, um, and now he's doing life in prison, you know, but there, there are just so many <coughs> stigmas attached to the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But do you find that more and more people are, are embracing it at the same time, even though the masses um, have not yet embraced this? Are, you, are people reaching out to you guys and saying, I, I see what you're doing. I want to learn more. Nah. Yeah, but those are are an exclusive. Like to me, those are exclusive. Like when I meet people like that, I'm like, yo, take my phone number. You know, I follow these people back online. Those people are exclusive, as far as I'm concerned. People that can get it, it's like you got a third eye. You're working on a whole level of consciousness that, consciousness that most people are not working on. So to me, that's still very rare. Really, you know, that's still very rare. I yeah, I think that's very rare. You know, and the only reason I ask you this is because I was talking to a gentleman who lives out of Atlanta. And he was telling me, you know, Sean, him, him and his wife, they're, they're into the same lifestyle. And he was like, Sean, people slide into our DMs mm -hmm. and they literally, you know, want to learn more. They want to be part of what we're doing. He was like, this is not as taboo as it once was in America. This lifestyle is not as frowned upon um, by as many people as it once was. Yes, America might not be ready for it and, and is not going to okay marrying multiple people. But he was like, you know, I, he was like, Sean, I, me and my wife, we have no problem bringing other women into our situation. They are literally hitting us, asking us to be part of it. Right. No, that's true. No, I got a following, man. And. You know, people are into it, but I think it's kind of a, a fetish. You know, uh. I don't really see. Yeah, so I think it's kind of a fetish to me. Uh, I don't know if it's really hitting on a genuine level yet. To me, yeah, people are interested, but they'll be the same ones judging me and talking, talking down. You know, um, they'll be the same one who's okay with a man with two wives, but when you have five, they say, "Oh no, that's some that's some BS." 
So to me, it's like, are they really ready yet? If they're judging me, if my dynamics looks like a coat, but two wives is cool. So I think it's becoming trendy in a sense. I think it's almost fetish. It's kind of like people, some people like midgets, but won't really date one. You know, I've had women who want to come try it out or do it just for the prestige, just to say they did it. And, you know, I have that, but it's like, they're not really on it. I don't think they're really on it. Have any of you guys ever considered moving to the Middle East or different parts of uh, the world where this is widely accepted and, and it is legal? Nah, uh, the most we consider is just having acres of land on our own and just just being in our own world, you know, just not having to live in an apartment building where you got to keep seeing neighbors looking at you crazy and, you know, you know, just being a different scenario. That's all. Yeah. I mean, um, interestingly enough, you guys live across the street from a beach, so you, you're not that worried about neighbors looking at you, you know. Oh, no, we're not worried about it. No, we're not worried, but it's just, you still see it. You notice mm -hmm. it, you know, you notice it. Yeah, but we're cool. We love what we're doing. We we love it. You know, we feel like the world will get there, but I don't know if it's there yet. You know, I kind of feel like, uh, I kind of consider it kind of like being a gay dude in the 80s or something. And it was like, you know, the world was getting there, but it was like, man, you got to get through the 90s first and get all the way up to the 2010 mm -hmm. before it really, it kind of get normal. Like you're like, you're still so far ahead of the the level. You're getting eyes and people are looking at you and judging you. And, and you know, I kind of feel that way. I kind of feel kind of what they feel. I, in a sense, I kind of be thinking sometimes like, you know, damn, you know, some dudes were gay in the 80s and they had to own yeah, You yeah. know, they had to go against all odds. More power to you. You know what I'm saying? But that's where we're at with it right now. And I feel like, yeah, it's still, it's still not there. Even though, like, in the 80s, they had Vogue and they had drag races and a bunch of stuff i've seen online that was going on in the 80s but it's still i don't think it was it wasn't where it is now no you're absolutely right you're absolutely right and that and i would say that that's a very fair comparison um okay cool. you know so so you know before i let you up out of here um if there's anybody who is interested in this lifestyle learning more about this lifestyle where can they find you or any of your wives Okay, so um, you can find us on Instagram at uh, Yaken, Y-A-H-K-E-N. So that's my handle across all boards as well, like on Facebook. I'm not really on there as much, but I have a page. And uh, my queens have their own page called Poly God Queens. And that's P-O-L-Y-G-O-D-Q-U-E-E-N-S. And they're on that page. They all have personal pages as well, which you can find on that page. And we have a website called theyesworld.com. That's where you find like our music and clothes and fashion and crystals as well. And um, they can reach us through that site. But uh, I want to say that uh, if you're interested in the poly life, just know it's uh, it's like we were saying, it's kind of like the 80s for a gay man or somebody. It's like people may dabble in and deal with you, but they're, it's a fetish and they might still hate you. They might still look down on you. The same ones want to deal with you, still secretly could be against you. So I found it to where when you find people that's really with it, cherish them, salute them, and um, and much respect. If y'all do it, just know that I respect you, and I'm definitely going to follow back, and I'm definitely one phone call away or one conversation away because my wives, they love hanging with other women that's doing poly. They love hanging with women that has sister wise as well there's a sisterhood there and they can talk and they they sit and talk for hours with other queens and i got other friends like uh who was doing it too uh one of my friends uh king chip uh he's doing polygyny right now and it's just a beautiful thing and just know they can reach out to me i'm here yeah ken thank you so much for a a, a very um this is this is it's a fascinating conversation, man. Um, I learned a lot, and and then I know you know anybody who watches this, they're gonna learn a lot. So thanks for your openness and really breaking this thing down for us. Again, um, you know, there, there's so much that us on the outside don't know and don't understand about this lifestyle, 
And unfortunately, America has not, um, they've not put positive images out of the lifestyle. It's right. always associated with coats right. or, you know, people being right. held against their will. So it's always good to talk to a right. brother, um, you know, and you're coming from a very spiritual and loving place. This is not something that is is just physical. It's it's greater than um, right. all of you guys, and and you guys are on a spiritual journey. So I appreciate the conversation. I appreciate the openness and and, and the teaching and allowing us to learn about your lifestyle. Continue blessings and peace, and my say, brother. And I want to say I appreciate you too. Very articulate and for going into these great questions. And just being the stand-up guy that you are, I've been doing my research on you too. So, major salute and thank you for having me on your podcast. Can Absolutely, you? it's my pleasure. It really is. All right, thank you. Much love. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.